Hello everyone, this is Rafat Mahmoud Zaini and welcome to the Ice Cream of Success podcast. Today's episode is titled Shame on the Sloth. I used to become so tired and sleepy by the time my father or one of his colleagues would pick me up from elementary school. When he was late, he often would say, sorry, I was in a meeting. So the word meeting became one of the first words in the adult world that stressed me out. Despite coming home late from school and being exhausted, my mother would not allow me to take a nap, not before I did all my homework, in order to watch the late afternoon cartoons, or as I called them, pussycat. It was a time that I looked forward to all day and would hardly blink while watching those cartoons. My mother always said, do not postpone today's work to tomorrow, and so I did. Unlike my classmates who finished their homework the night before, prior to the due date, this habit remained with me throughout school and into college. Although it was much more challenging to follow it to the letter during college, I relaxed a little bit during my master's and PhD as well mainly due to the different nature and length of homework and projects. However, I remained an early starter to finish at least a day prior to the submission date. I even finished preparing for my PhD dissertation defense early, so I spent the night before in peace and tranquility. Initially, the habit of completing all my tasks as they arrived into my inbox presented me with a great deal of stress. But I acclimated through the years of higher education when I felt that I shouldn't stress too much. The habit disciplined me in other aspects of daily life. Initially, the habit of completing all my tasks as they arrived to my inbox presented a huge challenge to me. But I acclimated through the years of higher education when I felt that I shouldn't stress too much. The habit disciplined me in other aspects of daily life. I'm never late to work, meetings, appointments, exams, and certainly for flights. My mother passed down to me her love for getting a job done with zero procrastination. Although I still cannot compete with my mother, she competes in a higher league. Anyways, back to when I would get so sleepy at the end of the school day, and I couldn't help but snooze. My mother would wake me up from my long nap by teasing me, whispering into my ear, shame on the sloth, a mouse hopped into their pocket. And I remember I would wake up so upset because that meant I missed the pussycat. I believe that explains my aversion until today to afternoon naps. By the way, before I conclude, I'd love to share with you some wonderful news. One of my closest friends from high school and Boy Scouts, the musician and composer, Mamdouh Saif, released a new album titled Leitak Ma'ai, which translates to I Wish You Were With Me. The album is on Rotana channel on YouTube, where Mamdouh reflects on his musical journey as well as his father's role in building that. May God rest his soul. How great it is that I started my podcast around the same time that my friend released his album. Both of us sharing our life stories in a way that reflects our identity, skills, interests, and through different mediums. That is what I found beautiful about diversity. I hope that you enjoy listening to Mamdouh's musical story in Letak Ma'ai and try savoring its beauty as savoring beauty is a blessing. Until next time.